What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn, Rad89 here, bringing you another review today, and we're making our way through the Halloween franchise onto the third film, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, a very divisive film. Is this a cult classic? We're going to find out. Of course, we're going to talk some spoilers today, so if you haven't seen this film, like, what are you doing here? Go run out and watch this film, and then come back so we can talk about it. So Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is quite a divisive film for sure because, you know, it takes a completely different route from the previous two films and it's kind of the original idea that the production company really wanted to do when they started the Halloween franchise is they wanted it to be kind of like an anthology series of films similar to like a creep show or like Cat's Eye. So different stories but all taking place on Halloween or around that time of the year. So that is the main thing that kind of makes this one stand out amongst a lot of the Halloween films and on all the franchise because you know this is the only film that doesn't have Michael Myers in it besides an actual like a TV commercial of the movie Halloween. Stop, stop, <laughs> that's the only time you actually see Michael Myers in this film so that was quite a hit for a lot of fans back in the day so this one didn't really do as good as the previous two but over the years it has grown quite a following and there's a lot of horror fans a lot of horror youtubers and guys that I watch that do their top list of Halloween franchise in the ranking and Halloween 3 is pretty high up there a lot of people love this film it has grown a quite a cult following over the years just I think it's that nostalgia thing you know and like maybe the fact that it is something completely different out of the Halloween franchise and all that kind of stuff people gravitate towards it it's got like a lot of iconic like memorabilia stuff in it like propaganda type stuff so I think people are just kind of gravitated towards that film but for me in my personal opinion Halloween 3 season of the witch has always been pretty low on the Halloween franchise one this is one of the films that I really rarely ever revisit like this uh, besides watching it for this review and all the ranking like binge watching it over the like the last day I just watched it last night that was the fifth time I've seen this movie I've only seen it four times before that and every time I felt like it just got worse for me I didn't enjoy it I just didn't find any like in it and I was just like you know, hashtag, where's my Michael? You know, I just want Myers. That's what I really wanted. And like, you know, no matter what kind of story the third one was going to be, I wanted more Michael Myers action. So it was definitely just something different for me to grab onto and watch. And But watching it this fifth time, ah, man, like it just, it didn't, it didn't help it at all. It still, for me, is a film that is just lackluster. And I feel, in my opinion, is a little overrated. I'm not into the narrative that all, the story, everything, like all of it I feel like is very far-fetched and kind of jumbled together and like all the Stonehenge and the Silver Shamrock and the Celtic witches, like, you know, it just, I think it's one of the worst representations of witches that we've had in a movie. That's what I mean. It just, there's nothing in this film that I really gravitate towards. I do kind of like the music, the score, the music, that jump butts by John Carpenter. So like, that's why you can tell. And it has kind of like an escape from New York type vibe, you know, which is another one of his movies. So you can feel that while you're watching this movie, when you're seeing like the henchmen of Cochran's rolling around, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And like the little jump scares and like this film is just basically predicated on jump scares. It's like I said, got a very weak narrative and a story that doesn't grab me or I gravitate towards. Also, I think just like the acting, everything in this film, I think like the acting wise is just not really that good. The only person I think that really delivers in this film is Cochran, the guy who plays our main antagonist character. I think he does a really good job. His like his acting is very serviceable, but everybody else I don't believe even our main characters, you know, the d doctor and the woman looking for her father, like, you know, the information about her dad and all that kind of stuff and the masks and what happened, like their relationship thing. I don't even believe that. Like 30 to 40 minutes into this movie, they already have two sex scenes and on the cusp of having a third sex scene in under an hour. Like it's just stuff I don't believe. It just goes like, you know, zero to 100 with them real quick and you don't even believe the relationship and as I said the two actors I didn't find that believable either so that didn't help the situation things I do like about this film it does feel very Halloween I can tell why people do like Halloween 3 season of the witch it's got the mask thing the silver shamrocks you know the TV song all the propaganda stuff going on the countdown to Halloween so it does have a really huge Halloween vibe going on throughout the film. You could argue that this is the most Halloween-esque 
of all the Halloween films on this list of all the movies, but it just, like I said, it's not enough to gravitate towards me with all the bad acting and the narrative that I don't really care about and the Stonehenge and everything. Like, it's just stuff I don't gravitate towards. And the kills are okay in it. Like, we got some okay graphics and stuff like that, but it's just still very basic 80s stuff that, like, you know, I've seen done better in other movies. So that's why, for me, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch just never landed. It's still, to this day, you know, after watching it this fifth time, isn't one that I could find myself watching or, like, diving into again, you know. This is definitely one out of, like, it's in my bottom two on the Halloween list of the franchise films. It's in the bottom two because it's just one that I don't care to return to that often. Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this chat for Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And, of course, let me know in the comments section what you thought of the film. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you kind of middle in the mediocre-like side? You know, as I said, there's nothing wrong with liking this film. Like, I can see why there's huge fans of this movie, and it's got quite a cult following over the years. But to me, it's not a cult classic. I think it's kind of an overrated film, as I said, for all those reasons and the gripes that I have with this movie. And I just, I wanted more Michael. I just so much, like, you know, in my bones, wanted more Halloween 3. And just having Michael Myers on the TV, those little TV spots of the Halloween, you know, movie, I just kind of felt like a slap in the face to me. So as I said, yeah, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is not one that I gravitate towards. In my book, this film gets a 4 out of 10. It's still like, an, you know, oh, oh, on the cusp of being an average horror movie. But it's below average for me because I feel like it's kind of a disgrace to the Halloween franchise. I really feel like if it wasn't called Halloween 3, like Season of the Witch, that might not be, that I might have a totally different feel about this film. But there are other things that happen in this movie that do bother me. So it's not the only thing that I have the quarrel against it. But as I said, I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Let me know what you thought of it. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We're going to be on to Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers after this. So stay tuned to the channel so you don't miss it. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.